Today I want to show you the Easy One Air and it has the what the Bluetooth functionality. So with each Easy One Air, you get a little USB kind of uh, Bluetooth dongle that you can use with your computer. I found that the uh, Bluetooth uh, dongle I have for my mouse works with this. So I've just got one plugged into my computer right now for the mouse and the Easy One Air. Um, right now, if you look, there's down here, uh, it would show up if we're connected and we're not connected yet. I'm gonna go into the Easy One Air and turn on the Bluetooth in a second. When I do that, it's very quickly gonna synchronize with the software. It'll um, synchronize the tests, any names out, anything that's been changed basically. So I'm going into the settings for Bluetooth now and I'll click it on and you should see it show up here in a second. So it very quickly picked it up. It shows that it's connected down here. It says the operation was successful. And uh, so now we're connected to this Easy One Air by Bluetooth. And so there's no wires. Like before we showed in other videos how to, uh, to put it in the dock and download it or print directly or any of that stuff. So what I can show you now is maybe a quick test here. I really like this feature. So if I go into tests and I want to do an FVC. Now I've actually already selected myself here. So that's why that came up. Um, so I'm, then it asked me to block the tube. Now, again, there's no wires. I love these different prompts we have here. We have someone blowing up a balloon. Um, I could cancel out of this, but there's also things like a birthday cake where you blow the candle. So I'm, I'm blocking the tube and I put the easy one air into its home screen. Not that it has to be in that screen if you're doing the testing. So I click OK. So I, I did one trial and as you can see by the indication on the side, you could see the balloon blow up and uh, burst when I had a good trial. So that's one of three, I won't go through the other ones, but you can see that um, I could have this set up with that visual prompt of the, of the balloon or, uh, or say the birthday cake and have uh, a really nice wireless connection uh, happening in real time. So the um, now actually to, to get into how this is all done to the setup of it, let's go to so this is actually the application sheet you can find on their on the website under uh, yeah it's under the application sheets on the Easy One Air website. And so it shows the Easy One Air using Bluetooth to a USB dongle, which again, it comes with one, or you, you may be able to use one that's already uh, on your computer or built in. It goes through the steps of uh, close the easy one software, you know, put the dongle in, it should load with the driver. You have to go to into the easy one air under tool settings, Bluetooth and Bluetooth, uh, the checkbox and I've got pictures of that here. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. You can see right now this isn't checked. And so you check that. Now with all Bluetooth devices, there's a key that's required. The default key is one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's probably fine. You can use, so, so when you actually down here, if I go into my Bluetooth devices on this Windows 7 device, device, I would hit add device. It would find the easy one error and it would ask for that Bluetooth key, which again, default is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if I ever want to change that, there is a way you can log in to, and this is on the Easy One Air under administration, and you could set up your own key, but I don't really know why you'd have to do that. Um, so anyway, that's a, a bit of an overview of how it works with Bluetooth. The, again, this application sheet talks about the the pairing key, which is that default. And, it, and uh, it reviews how to do it under Windows 8 and Windows 10. And again, this is on the NDD website under application uh, notes for the Easy One Air.